do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did two laws based on chemical combinations and now we are doing the third law that is law of multiple proportions so what does this law means and how the chemicals follow this law let us see so the law of multiple proportion states that when two elements chemically combine to form two or more compounds with different compositions by weight then the mass of one element that combine with a fixed mass of other element are in a ratio of small whole number so this is the definition that we should understand it very clearly that what does it says it would be a very hectic to know that what does this multiple proportion is talking about so let me give you a proper example of it and then we'll again come back to this definition and we'll learn that this law is applicable to a particular compound or not so now talking about this one that is in no that is nitrogen monoxide 14 gram of nitrogen combines with 16 gram of oxygen so as to produce uh, this n when i talk about number of moles so that is if i take that is 1 gram of nitrogen if it combines with uh, the oxygen then what i'll get is 16 divided by 4 that is 1.143 gram of oxygen is been involved during the formation of n so in this case what we have got it as what we have got an idea as if 14 gram of nitrogen combines with 16 gram of oxygen then 1 gram of nitrogen will combine with 1.143 gram of oxygen so now talking about an another compound which involves this two elements that is for nitrogen dioxide that is no2 so in this case as we know that in this case also nitrogen and oxygen were be involved and again in this case also this is a different uh, uh, compound having the same elements that are been involved but in different proportion so therefore this is no2 so in this case what we could observe is that is 14 gram of again nitrogen combines with 32 gram of oxygen that is how come 32 because the nitrogen which has a fixed ratio that is of a fixed number of moles that is 1 mole of nitrogen that means 14 gram of nitrogen is been involved again but in this case the oxygen value has been increased the number of oxygen has been increased initially it was one oxygen but not talking about this chemical it has two oxygen therefore we have taken it as 32 gram of oxygen because one oxygen has a molar mass of 16 uh, gram so therefore the overall two oxygen will make 32 gram so if i take it Uh, an average suppose for 1 gram if this one for was for 14 gram but for 1 gram what it would be involved so therefore 1 gram of nitrogen will combine with 2.286 gram of oxygen so in this case there are the two values that i have got that is 1.143 gram and the next is 2.286 gram but this values are for different chemicals that is one is for nitrogen monoxide and one is for nitrogen dioxide so if i take the ratio of these two things then what we'll get in this case we can clearly observe that there is only 1 gram of nitrogen here also as there is 1 gram of nitrogen here also so in this case the nitrogen is been a very fixed value and the one which is changing that is oxygen in this case there is 1.143 oxygen while in this case there is 2.2 86 gram of oxygen that is been involved so in this case suppose if i take an average of it or suppose if i take a ratio of it sorry if i take a ratio of it what i could get is for basically for nitrogen monoxide the oxygen that was been involved that is that was that is 1.143 gram and for nitrogen dioxide the oxygen that were been involved were around 2.286 gram so in the both the cases the nitrogen had a fixed value that is for 1 gram again here it is for 1 gram if i say so this is the fixed value but this value are variable they are changing suppose if i take the ratio of these two things 
that is if I take the ratio 1.143 and again if I take the ratio as 2.286 so if I take the ratio if I multiply this by 2 and again I have to multiply this by 2 so the thing that I could get is as if I multiply this thing then this would be clearly mentioned as 2 while this would be said to be 4 so this is the simple ratio that I have been got so let us see the definition of it that we have did earlier so that we could understand it in a better way so again this law states that when two elements chemically combine to form two or more compounds so when I talk it about this thing two elements in this case nitrogen and oxygen are being involved and again they are being making two different molecules that is or two or more so in this case the nitrogen is combined with oxygen to form nitrogen monoxide again the nitrogen is being combined with two oxygen to form different uh, compound that is nitrogen dioxide again with a different composition by weight as we have did then the mass of one element that combines with a fixed mass of other element what does this means the mass of one element that combines with a fixed mass of other element fixed mass of other element in this case the fixed mass is nothing but the nitrogen that we are talking about nitrogen so the nitrogen will be involved with different oxygens that is in this case it is involved with one while in this case it is being involved with two so what will happen is the masses of one element that combines with a fixed mass of other element are in a ratio means in this case we are talking about oxygen so are in a ratio of small whole number so in this case the oxygen if we take the ratio of the oxygen then what we are going to get it as we are going to get it as a ratio and that also in a very simple ratio so therefore there are been the ratio is been divided into 2 is to 4 so I could write it in a very clear way that I could write this as 1 is to 2 also so therefore Clearly it mentions that the nitrogen involves one oxygen while the nitrogen dioxide will involve two oxygen. So this is the simple thing that we have got to learn now. So therefore this was a definition and we have did it in a very clearly that what does the law of multiple proportion means. So thank you friends for watching this video. Share this video and I hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.